Today we're going to discuss charting and SQL Server reporting services. As you can see on our screen right now, we have a matrix chart which is not as handy uh, to show the complete breakdown of how our orders are coming into our system. So what we're going to do is we're going to modify this report to show this data in a pie chart so that it might be a little bit more user friendly to show what exactly we can do with SSRS. So this is our preview of our report. It's broken down by vendor number, sales date, and then employees. What we're going to do instead is we're going to simply change up some of these items so that we can show exactly who is selling what. So we'll come to design right here and we're going to do it for our entire years. We're going to look at our entire years worth of sales. So what we're going to do is we're going to select our, our cross tab here and we'll go ahead and delete this right here. So we now have each page broken down by vendor and we'll come to our toolbox here and bring in a chart and paste it into our window and as you can see you have a number of different options for charting and SQL Server reporting services. You have columns or bars, you have shapes which includes pie graphs, donut charts, and uh, pyramid shapes, a number of different lines. You also have area, range, scatter, or polar graphs as well. And if you're not happy with scrolling, you can also just simply change this as well. What we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and we want to show the percentage for each vendor sale um, by each employee for each one of those vendors. So we're going to choose a exploded pie chart. Click that. Click OK. And as you can see, it comes in right here. So then what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the chart and we see we have a number of different values. So here we're going to add the subtotal to show exactly what each one of our employees are doing. And we're going to expand our category groups and we're going to add an employee ID here. Okay. And then we can also do a number of different things to make this more aesthetically pleasing. We can change our chart title. And we can say uh, subtotal by employee. We can also right click on the chart and go into title properties on each one of the individual sections. We can either change the chart type, we can add 3D effects, we can show data labels, add calculated series. For our legend, we can either delete the legend um, or add a new legend, a number of things like that. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and delete our legend here to make our pie graph a little larger. And then right click on the series and we're going to say show data labels. And then we can go in and we can also further modify the data labels. So for example, we want them to be, instead of black, we want them to be white. Instead of 10, we want them to be 12 point and we want to change it to Arial Black and bold them. Click OK. As you can see, they now show up differently. And then what we can also do is we can also go into our chart area properties and we can set visibility, whether we're going to show it on runtime, we can do a fill, border, shadow, anything like that. And then when we click preview, you'll see our chart that we originally moved was gone and now as you can see the numbers are a little jumbled so what we'll do is we'll come back to our design and we'll choose our chart and we'll make it significantly bigger by just right clicking on our data labels here and we'll decrease our font to 9 point we'll make it white still as well and then we'll expand our, our chart as well to make it a little larger so it's not nearly as jumbled. Okay. And then we can click preview. And again, we can then modify our chart until we have it happy. So that's the end of charting. Make sure that you check out our other YouTube videos for more information on SSRS.